Hello again on this beautiful day. I am at one of the sacred sites of Glastonbury. You may already recognize where I'm at, or maybe not. But if you come with me, I will surely um, solve this mystery for you. And as you can see, this is a mound. We call it a mound. Oops, that was a butterfly. This is Bride's Mound, known for the goddess of Bride and also for the sister Bridget from Ireland who was here. But we have a specialist today and um, she's one of my great friends. She's a priestess of Bride of Avalon and I've known her for a long time and she knows almost everything about this place. So I'm gonna ask her to tell you something. Where are we? So this is Marion. Could you tell us where where we are? What did, what is this place? So this is called Bride's Mount and it is dedicated to Bridget. It is said that uh, Saint Bridget was here a long time when she traveled to visit the Abbey. Uh, she came here, she stayed here with um, a community of women who were living here at that, that moment. So it is dedicated to Saint Bridget, but also to the goddess Bridget here in the land, who is actually also the goddess who is lying in the land here and who priestesses have served long before Christianity came in view. So what attracts you to um, goddess, the goddess Br Bridie? Um, why are you so drawn to her? Oh, many people have asked me this. So I'm, I've been teaching uh, the Bridget Brigantia training now for years and why she has called me, I think there is this humanness to her that is very attractive because she was uh, Saint Bridget, but she was also the great goddess of the Celtic people. So she wasn't a goddess of this and that and that, but she was actually goddess she was a great goddess so if you work with the people of the Celtic lands and, and here we are in the Celtic lands um, this is really the place where the goddess where Bridget was referred to, and just really connected with this land I feel very connected with Avalon with the Celtic lands and with Bridget as the great goddess of the Celtic people now we are in uh, quite some challenging times at the moment and um what would your advice be to people to maybe connect to her or to what can they do to, um, well, to, to, to be in the peace or to stay calm? What would you advise them? Well, if you can, I would always say go outside and ground yourself. But a beautiful practice is, uh, with Bridget is also just to light a candle. And if you light a candle, it's the fire of transformation. And fire is a very, very big aspect of Bridget. So you can just, you know, give to the flame your worries, give to her uh, everything that needs to be transformed, transmuted, all the energy that you know, it's like fear could be transmuted into, into trust. And really, and she is also a light in the darkness. So if you are feeling that you are in dark times, to just light her light and ask for her to be with you is a great practice to do. Thank you, Marian. Now, Marian is also one of the organizers of the Goddess Conference, which takes place at uh, the uh, end of July, beginning August this year. And we're praying that it really does. And she also works with me uh, in Mystical Earth Tours. So we're both guides and priestesses. So uh, hopefully once you Maybe come here the, whenever you can. Um, we would be happy to welcome you and meet you. And so thank you, Marion, for your blessing and, and the explanation. Bride so, Christmas. yeah, so Bridie's Mount um, is a, one of the places, it's just, you know, on the outside of Glastonbury. You gotta know how to get here, but it's a nice walk. So I would certainly try it if the next time you're here. And for me, um, you know, um, Bride is, is connected to Imbolc and that means new beginnings 
and um, we certainly are at that point of a new beginning and I hope uh, that it will be a very very good one and um, it's just um, a question of uh, keeping the faith trust and uh, feel just feel the love in your hearts thank you